Ladies and gentlemen, moving on now. Fight number 13 here at XFC 41. That last contest, worth the price of admission, worth the price of pay-per-view. What a fantastic bout that was. We now move on to the next one, and that is fight number 13. It is three three-minute rounds, super lightweight action. Victor Lyle coming up against Ty Hardy, and Ty Hardy makes his way to cage side, ready to get it on. Now, ladies and gentlemen, an important note for this contest, the winner will move on for a championship fight on August the 17th. That's right, August the 17th will be a championship fight. That will be up here in Brisbane. XFC are moving to Gladstone next, and then we'll be back in Brisbane August the 17th, and that will be a championship contest for the winner of this contest. Two bag wrapping in the background. Ty Hardy makes his way to a cage side for this contest. Final checks taking place from the officials. This is another huge night of action here. XFC 41 bringing you the best fights here in Queensland. Fight number 13 is on the cards here, ladies and gentlemen. Inside he is, Ty Hardy. He now waits his opponent, Victor Lyle. This is one that Dan Morsley spoke about earlier. It's going to be one which is going to be an absolute banger. And he is one to watch, Victor Lyle. A huge competitor. He'll be in there looking to do plenty of damage inside the cage. So we wait and see how he goes this evening. He makes his way out to cage side. Victor Lyle used to have a fantastic haircut. He shaved that off now, ready to go and ready to put on a show. His gym is the Gamebred Academy. He looks up to Loni Filomahala and David Martinez. He's coached by Simon Clough. And he has an amateur record of four wins and two losses. Been training for a long time. We asked him during the week where he feels his improvements will be. He said his mindset is better, he's calm, he's visualizing what he's going to do in this fight and that he has a game plan in order to execute. No predictions for this fight, but he says that I hope it is a bloody mess. What can he do in this contest? We will see three three-minute rounds of action. Ben Livingston next to me. Very excited by that last fight. What are you expecting out of this one? Victor Lyle and Ty Hardy. This is the perfect storm to absolute powerhouse wrestlers about to go at it as we go to Daniel Maudsley. So ladies and gentlemen, a fight 13 is an amateur super lightweight bout which will be contested over three three-minute rounds. And introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He weighed in at 74.6 kilos and trains out of KMA top team holding an undefeated amateur record for two wins and zero defeats. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Ty Say Goodnight Hardy. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner. He weighed in at 74.9 kilos and trains out of Gamebred Academy. Holding an amateur MMA record of four wins with two defeats. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Victor Lyle. And when the action begins, your referee in charge, Carl Anderson. Carl Anderson has both of these fighters ready. Daniel Maldsley with a fantastic job introducing them. We get ready to go. It is fight number 13 here, XFC 41. Here we go. Victor Lyle and Ty Hardy ready to get it on. Three three-minute rounds of super lightweight action. Stevie, this is a title contender fight. Victor Lyle, one of the toughest. This guy's like Rocky Balboa. <laughs> Ty Hardy, powerful chain wrestler. This is the perfect storm right here. This could be the main event. As we spoke about as well, the winner will move on to a title fight. This is a number one contender's fight. The winner will go on to a championship fight. August 17 up here in Brisbane on XFC. So a big fight for both of these gentlemen. Yep. Uh, when I'm uh, getting ready for these events, I always like to have a quick look on the fighters' social media to see what they've been up to with their training, get an idea of how they've been preparing. It's on Victor Lyle's Instagram page, and I stumbled in onto a video of him lifting up a moped. 
<laughs> the guy is it just doesn't an surprise me. Look freak. at the thighs on him, yeah. Dan. Look at the thighs it was on him. Ridiculous. He is just a, an absolute specimen. And Ty Hardy, the exact same build. It so. looks like he could crouch and hold and scrummage very well, boys. Very strong lower half. These Victor are literally Lyle. two of the strongest guys in this weight category, and they are going at it tonight. So Big carrot on offer. The winner moves on, as we said, August 17. A tight start to this contest up against the cage. Ty Hardy looking to put pressure on Victor Lyle up against that yeah, cage. Opening stands are both guys looking uh, to be very technical, I would expect. this. two big camps, KMA and Gamebred. And uh, also worth noting, Victor Lyle's last victory over uh, Emmanuel Camilero. Uh, God, that uh, was a fight. And it was a training partner of uh, Ty Hardy's, I believe, too. Yes. KMA top team. So KMA looking to try and get one back here on Victor. And there's oh, the slam. Oh, Victor slam. Lyle, big slam. <laughs> well, there's as advertised. Knees, knees to the head, big Huge knees. Looks knees to there to Hardy. Hardy could oh, be in, in a spot of bother. Ben Livingston, I think he's in trouble. There's a knee to the head. Fires back Ty Hardy with a left hand. Did the old crouching tiger out of the corner. Wow, this is a great fight as predicted, gentlemen. Well done. Both men with everything to gain, plenty to lose. I know Hardy wanted this fight. Good pressure there by Kyle. Nice tight cagey exchange to begin with. Big flurry there for about 40 seconds and back we are against the cage now as we approach the final 30 seconds, round number one. Yeah, good opening round for both fighters. At the moment, I think you've got to lean to the damage of Victor Lyle though to probably take this round out, assuming uh, nothing drastic happens here in the final 20. But uh, yeah, the pressure alone from Lyle right now, this has got him this first round. But as advertised... Huge scoring knees here oh. as well. Oh, big knees to the head of Ty Hardy. Hardy is in a spot of bother here. Oh, He's looking to land that big overhand from the cage. And that is the end of the round. Respect there for both fighters. But, gents, I think you'll have to agree. Those big legs and big knees of Victor Lyle doing the damage. Look, the question is, how much damage did Ty take in that first stanza? Yeah, so Ty Hardy... Well, the fact he's not opting for the stool is probably a good sign. Means he's, uh, you know, got enough uh, energy and enough, I guess he's got his legs under him enough, I should say, to be uh, up and on his feet in between rounds. So that shows that he's got to be uh, at least reasonably coherent. So looks like he's going to come into round two not too uh, badly uh, affected from that uh, last exchange. Trying to suck that oxygen in, Daniel. You are correct. Victor Lyle, though, the ice pack on the back. He's looking quite calm. And it's been a very quick chat. You notice, boys, from uh, Brian Ebersole, who's one of the great MMA minds with Ty. He said what he needed to say, and he got out. He didn't waste any time. Yeah, sometimes uh, corners can be guilty of overloading their fighters with information. I know um, you can speak, Ben. When you're in there, you only kind of remember about one sentence in between 100%, rounds. Yeah. 100%, mate. That's uh, always I, what I used to take is about one sentence worth of information. The rest of just go... Uh, in one ear and out the other. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe <laughs> out, boys. Lyle looking very light on his feet at the moment. In and out. Nice angles. Hardy. Hardy wants to keep these hands up as well. Looking for those big shots there, Victor Lyle. Good kick there from Hardy, though. Another good kick. Right leg kick on the outside. Moving one forward. thing about Lyle is he will war. He will, he will wear three shots to put to away 100% oh, yep. shot on your head. Good outside leg kick there from Victor Lyle. Tal Hardy looking to defend that. Switching stance up, we can uh, see here, Hardy, Victor Lyle. Hardy's mouth is open just at the moment. That, it's yeah. not a very good sign, that mouth guard. Kind of hanging out. Wind, I yeah. don't like that, Dan. Yeah, of course. Without biting down on that mouthpiece, you're not tensing the muscles around your jaw, so it actually is easier to get knocked out. So that's where the term biting down on the, mouth, on the mouthpiece comes from. And against a guy like Lyle who will throw them, and yep. he'll throw them from his hip. Chomping on the bit, recipe. Daniel. Chomping on the bit. Oh, Lyle, there's that left beautiful. knee again, putting the pressure on. Pressure is massive here. So we're seeing Victor do a really good job of mixing his strikes in here with his cage grappling. And uh, some of those knees are probably the most significant shots of the fight so far. Go high crutch there as well. <laughs> Ty Hardy looking to put some pressure back on, switching stance. In the orthodox stance at the moment, looks for an outside right leg kick. Oh, oh he's connected. Oh, big shot there landed the there by Hardy, but again, do not get lazy with those hands, kids. Nice left leg there from Ty Hardy. Victor Lyle looks to counter straight through. 
fourth there from Ty Hardy. Out of all of Hardy's fights, this is the uh, this is the deepest I've seen him go. As far as his mouth is open a little bit, he is looking a little bit more tired than I'd normally used to seeing him in round two. It's been a very physical affair thus far. Yeah, very close second round here. Not too much activity on the side of Victor Lyle at the moment. You can hear his corner asking for a little bit more out of him as we see a nice low kick. Doing damage with those leg kicks, gentlemen. That was very, very impactful. Victor Lyle putting the pressure on, moving forward. Both men looking to defend. State of origin, New South Wales versus Queensland. Left hand from Victor Lyle. Oh. Connects, looking for that knee again up against the cage. So effective in that first round. Final 15 seconds, round number two. Yeah, I'm liking how Lyle does walk in, throw a shot, and then finish with a knee or start with a knee. Correct, yeah. Goes to outside leg kick, kick to finish off. It's very right effective at the between. moment. Good strategy. Indeed. Scoring blows in that round for Victor Lyle. Looks like he might be two up. To Victor Lyle will wear that kind of punishment all night. That's when he starts to warm up. He'll get hit like that all night and then warm up. So this is dangerous ground now for Ty Hardy. Yeah, as we see the uh, team in the corner there of Victor Lyle, Ryan Dunson, one of uh, Australia's best MMA coaches, along with Simon Clough, who's also a bit of a magician, producing some great talent there over at Gamebred here in Brisbane. And interesting uh, to note, Lonnie Philly Mohalla, the champion in the Super Lightweight division, actually cornering Victor Lyle at the moment. That is correct, yep. So I'm not sure what's going to happen there if uh, Victor takes the W in the number one contender spot here. Will be interesting. Will be interesting. Ty Hardy breathing very heavy in this third round. Keep your friends close, they say, Daniel. <laughs> Keep your enemies closer. We'll see what happens with the outcome of this fight. Victor Lyle coming forward. Two shots As by Victor Lyle then. Ty Hardy looking to stay in this contest. A better second round showing. Hard. Hardy breathing very heavy at the moment. Yeah, and you can really see the uptick in aggression from Victor Lyle here. I think he's sensing that uh, Ty Hardy is starting to fade a little bit, heading into the third and final round here. He's keeping his hands up here, Victor Lyle. Hardy's still very dangerous. He's got a lot of power, but the pressure is relentless from Victor to, Lyle. And as you gentlemen have both talked about, his variety has been excellent so far. He's throwing all sorts of different combinations, oh. mixing it up. Look at that. It's straight, just great transitions. Great transition, straight right leg to the knee. The Ooh. oblique <laughs> kick. The oblique kick to the knee. A bit of a controversial technique in MMA. It's a tough one to, to land though, isn't it really? There by Victor. Yeah. To actually get that right is a little bit more difficult than it may look. And Victor Lyle waving Ty Hardy on, saying, come on, let's go. Victor is looking great at this point. He loves a dogfight, this man, and he wants one. Egging Ty Hardy on, saying, come on, what do you got? Hardy has been taken into very deep water. And uh, to his credit, Ben, no sign of quit here in uh, Ty Hardy up until this stage. Victor Lyle really starting to pour it on here. Victor Lyle now starting to have his way. Dominant at the moment, gentlemen, Victor Lyle. Ty Hardy really needs to get back into this third round. One minute remaining in the contest. XFC Lyle 41. stalking his prey. Jeez, he's fun to watch, isn't he, fellas? Yeah, absolutely, Daniel. He went away for a little while and he's come back yeah. and I'm glad he did. Yep, he's uh, certainly one of my favourite fighters in the local scene as we see a nice... Straight right hand there to a left hook combo. Hits the body there, draining the gas tank. Nothing worse than getting ripped to the body like that when you are feeling uh, feeling a little drained. Now, Victor Lyle's fitness is looking excellent, gentlemen. He's moving forward, moving that head, moving his feet. He's looking very fit, very strong. Yep. Not affected as well. 28 seconds remaining. Picking Victor the shots beautifully as well. Plenty of pressure. Just Plenty. doing what works. For someone with the build of Victor Lyle, his cardio is so impressive. Absolutely. I mean, there's so much muscle to try and get oxygen to, but he never fades in fights to his credit. Now you can see the cumulative effect of those leg kicks on that lead leg of Hardy. You can see it keep ducking back in. Oh, He's got man, nowhere to go as Lyle pulls it on. Ty Hardy hangs Here on comes his. Lyle! Seconds remaining. There is the buzzer. It is over. That is the end of the contest. 
What a wonderful contest, gentlemen. What a treat. Victor Law coming forward for most of that contest, and especially in the third round. He sucks the air in now, but I think he'll be happy with that performance and potentially the outcome to come Look, in Look, my condolences to uh, Ty Hardy from KMA. He's been fantastic on the last couple of XFCs, but tonight he truly did have his match met in the one Victor Lyle. Wonderful performance there from Victor Lyle. Really came into the fight as the contest went on. He pressured, he pressured, he utilized those leg kicks. Great transition, as you mentioned, Ben, and also mixed it up with some wonderful combinations throughout the contest. I've, I've been watching Victor Lyle for years and years, and uh, he's always just been a contender. I don't think he's ever, for me anyway, I don't think he ever stepped up. Tonight, I feel like he really stepped up and came into his own. As we go to a decision with Dan Maudsley. Well, ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score about 30-27, 30-27, and 30-26. All for your winner by unanimous decision in the red corner, Victor Lyle. Hard to argue that one. Ben Livingston, great performance there from Victor Law. One of those judges scoring one of those rounds is a 10-8. Could have been that third round. I was going to suggest that, but I thought maybe not. But it looks like it may have been that third round. A great performance from Victor.